Okay, this is the project we're going to do today. This is a handmade journal using the We Are Memory Keepers uh, journal tool. I think that's what that's called. And uh, I did a Coptic binding. And it's a little messy, but it's my first attempt at this. And so this is the journal the pages inside the journal and so let's begin okay, I bought the we are memory keepers journaling book binding guide and so I thought I would try and make my first journal handmade journal and so I've got a couple of pieces of chipboard here which I'm going to use for the front and the back cover and some paper that I'm going to use to cover the chipboard. And then I have folded pieces of paper in groups that are called signatures. And so these are just sheets of paper that I've cut and then folded over. And I've got them in groups of six sheets. So when it's folded over, there's 12 pages. And so after this is bound, what I'll have is a book that has several pages and it will be bound together. And so we're going to go through the process of uh, binding this book together. And I'm going to start by making the front and the back cover. And so I'm going to start by putting the front page on. And I'm going to place my open signatures in the little gully part of the tool. And then I'm going to poke a hole in it every four holes. So I'll start with that first hole and then count four and then punch the hole. And I will repeat that for the rest of the signatures. And now I'll place the hole, punch the holes in the cover, and I'm going to do that on the flat portion of the tool. And I am going to punch the same holes as I did in the signatures. And I'll punch the holes in the back cover actually upside down so that the holes will be in the correct position. And I'm going to use the thread that came with the bookbinding tool, and I'm going to use the Coptic stitch to begin to connect everything together. Okay, I've tied a knot at the end of the string, and I'm going to take my first signature, and I'm going to thread from the inside out that first hole in the signature. Then I'm going to go through the front of that front cover, and so I actually did it backwards here, so I'm unthreading. Now I'm going from the front to the back. Then I'm looping through the uh, stitch that I just made. And then I'm going to go back into that first signature. I mean, to the first hole in the signature. And then I'm going to go through the hole, the next hole in the signature, through the front of the cover. I'm going to loop around 
that and then go back into the hole. Then I'll repeat it again with the next hole. Through the next hole, through the front of the cover. I'll loop around that to kind of lock the thread into place and then go back through the hole in the signature. Then I'll go to the next hole in the signature through the front of the cover. I will loop around that stitch and then back through the hole in the signature and come up through the next hole through the front of the cover. I will go through that, kind of lock it into place, and then go back through the hole. Now I'm at the last hole of the signature, so I'll come through, come through the front cover, and I'll loop around, and I'm not gonna go back through the hole. Okay, and when you're at your last hole, instead of going back into this signature you're going to go into the next signature and so let's see let me see how I need this so instead of going back into the original hole of the last signature I'm going to go into the hole of the next signature then out through the next hole in that signature. And this time I'm going to leap, loop through the previous two signatures, which in this case is the cover and the last signature. And then I'll go back through the original hole and then just keep coming up. So the difference between this and the last step is that last time we were affixing the front cover. This time we are just going through the signature hole. We are looping through the previous stitch and then going back into the same hole and then going out the next hole. And then when we get to the last hole, uh, we just loop through. Okay, now I'm at my last hole again in the signature and so I'm gonna put the next signature on and so I will go in to this first hole in the next signature and then out the next hole oops And it ripped. Damn. And then we'll loop through the previous one, which is between these two. the hole Okay, and I'm running out of thread here, so I am going to loop it through here and tie it off. And so I'll just tie a tight knot here, and I shall...
put it under here. Then cut it off. Okay, now I'll put some new thread onto my needle and I'm going to bring it back up through the original hole of that signature that uh, I last went through and then I'm going to continue on. So I go through the signature hole, I loop through the previous two signatures and then come back through the original hole and now we're back at the last hole of the signature and we're going to start the next signature. Okay, and so we are in our last hole again. So we're going to start on our next signature. And so we'll just go in go through the last two which are these two right here and then back through the hole in the signature we'll just continue on this process until we get to our very last signature. Okay, now we're on our last signature. So we're going to put the cover on at the same time. So this goes on to the bottom like this. So we're going to loop through the cover first. So, we will loop through the previous stitch here, and then we will go into the signature. through the signature. Oops. Through the cover. And we will loop through. We'll loop through these previous ones. through the signature
And we'll just repeat this process until we get to the last hole. We go through the next hole, through the cover from the front to the back, loop through the previous two signatures, and then back through the hole in the signature and out to the next hole in the signature. And I actually ran out of thread again, and so I had to re-thread just for that very last hole in the signature. And then after I finished that, just tied everything off and completed the stitch. And my tape has ended up being a little uneven, so I used a pair of scissors to trim it down a bit. Well, this is my first attempt at a book binding, and this is how it turned out. I guess it's fair. It's not as perfect as I would have liked, but it'll do. And so I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!